January 1st, 2020. I started this YouTube channel with 100 subscribers and my goal last year was to get to 1,000 subscribers. So here we are, January 2021, and we're almost there. We're almost at 1,000 subscriber mark. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the five things that I did wrong on YouTube in 2020. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. If you guys are into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here on this channel. Now, like I said in the intro, I want to break down the five things that I did wrong on YouTube in 2020. Even though I feel like I grew a lot and this channel has come so far, I'm so grateful for every single person who is watching and who's joined this journey. But I wanna talk about the things that could have been done better last year that I'm gonna focus on this year to actually grow this channel over 1,000 subscribers. The first thing that I think I did wrong on my YouTube channel last year was really just my edits. I think my edits could have been more engaging. There was a lot of videos where I did stuff like this where I was like talking for long periods of time and I didn't necessarily make it engaging for you guys to watch. Graphics or text, pop-ups on the screen, whatever it was, it just wasn't enough to get people to stay as long as I wanted them to and make it to the end of the video. So I think having a better format for the videos and then also just more engaging edits is gonna be another really important focus for this year in 2021. The second thing I think I did wrong on YouTube in 2020 was not doing enough research on my videos and my titles specifically. So this is something that helped me grow the channel a lot last year. I started using TubeBuddy a lot more seriously to actually do my keyword research and actually doing research on different websites and actually trying to figure out what people were searching for. So last year was the first time I really tried to implement that on any of my YouTube channels. And I would definitely say that it worked to help me grow the channel, but I think I could have done more research or better research, especially around my titles, guys, because the title is really what makes people want to click on it and it makes people want to listen to what you have to say. And I think that is something that I need to focus a lot more on this year to help grow this channel over a thousand subscribers and beyond. So yeah, doing more research on the videos themselves and then also just the, the titles that I'm using is going to be a big focus this year on the channel as well. And the third thing that I did wrong last year on YouTube, you probably hear a lot of YouTubers say this guys, but it's just uploading more and uploading more consistently. So the new schedule for the new year that I'm trying to work out right now is I'm trying to shoot two videos every weekend and then drop two videos a week. So that way I'm shooting videos on the weekend and I'm editing them and then dropping them throughout the week But that way I'm not necessarily burning myself out because that was definitely one of the things or one of the problems I ran into in 2020 as a creator on YouTube is just trying to manage my full-time job learning how to code side projects businesses and then trying to create this content for you guys was a huge struggle in my routine and I started kind of just being really inconsistent with when I dropped content I dropped some content a lot in certain months and then less content in other months and i think that kind of going back and forth it allowed me to have growth but not as much growth or as consistent growth as i probably wanted so another big focus of this year as i'm sure you guys hear a lot of youtube creators saying is just uploading more content and then uploading more consistently so specifically two videos a week is going to be my goal so Bear with me, y'all. Hold me accountable in the comment section throughout the year, but I'm definitely gonna try to hit that goal this year because I wanna provide you guys as much value in the tech industry and entrepreneurship and even with YouTube as much as I can because these are all things that are part of my life. I have a lot of experience in them and I, I do them a lot and I really just want to grow this community so that we can all support each other and yeah, to create the content that I wish was out there when I started doing all these things. All right, the fourth thing that I think, I don't think I did this wrong in 2020, but I definitely could have done this better, which was creating better thumbnails. And this was the first channel that I've ever done on YouTube where I made sure that every single video on this channel has a thumbnail, a thumbnail that I specifically created and took the time to kind of design it and put some thought into it. But I played around a lot with my aesthetics last year with just different colors in the thumbnails and, and just a lot of different approaches. If you guys go through the videos on the channel, you'll see that there's a lot of ugly thumbnails. There's a lot of me trying different texts and different colors and different things. And I feel like it just didn't have a lot of consistency. And it was really just me trying to figure out what would work. I was trying a lot of different 
designs and things like that that I thought would again captivate you know you guys the viewers attention to you know want to click on the videos and so I tried a lot of different designs but I'm not the most design oriented person you guys hear me say that a lot on the channel so with that being said this year I have found some creators that I really like their thumbnail aesthetic and things like that and it's giving me some inspiration to do kind of a better job of actually creating thumbnails so this year that's gonna be another big focus is just creating better thumbnails that are more engaging and that make people want to click on the videos more all right guys and the last thing number five thing I think I did wrong on YouTube last year that I'm trying to improve in 2021 is just creating more of what works I think I tried a lot of different content that I thought you guys would want and content that I thought would be very useful for me when I was you know going through coding boot camp and things like that but in reality I need to focus on the content that is actually working it's actually getting views that you guys are actually watching you know for the longest duration because that way i know that you're interested in those topics and i'm creating stuff that is really valuable for you guys and not just stuff that i think is valuable and i hope that y'all are going to watch it and find it valuable as well and also just more videos about being a youtube creator as i cross the thousand subscriber mark i definitely want to share some things that i've learned because that spills over into entrepreneurship i know a lot of people out there want to start youtube channels as well so i'll be creating more diverse content and just make this a, a, a really great community here on YouTube to watch and join. I got some other dope products coming out this year. So I'm super excited about 2021 guys. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all found this helpful in any sort of way, if you got anything out of this, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and make sure you also leave me some comments in the comment section. I love interacting with you guys here. Check out the description box as well for my free intro to coding bootcamp course. It's got everything in there I wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp. Hey guys, I'm gonna be back with some really exciting content this year. I got some great things in the works. I'm super excited to connect with you guys in 2021. So I hope y'all are watching this safe and in good health from wherever you are. I'm excited to kick this year off with you guys. This is Darian with Jane the Dev and I'll see you guys next video, all right?